Hi guys, welcome back. It's Mrs. Peterson, that lady who teaches art. And today we're going to create a no tan. We don't get confused because we're gonna do this one together and they're all gonna look really similar. So down at the bottom, past the middle, I'm gonna start writing my name and you can put first name, last initial, and then put your guys' class. So you guys are three W. We're gonna put our black square about in the middle and we're gonna give ourselves corner marks. So we're gonna just give ourselves a little corner right here, little corner right here. If you'll do that right now with your pencil, just so you know, makes it easy for your eye to know how to line up your corners. Okay, and I'm just gonna pull mine off so you can see what I did. My little corners. Okay, and then you just line your paper right back up with those corners for your edges. All right, um, like I said to you, we're going to stick with a theme when you're doing yours. So my theme is going to be a landscape. A landscape, remember, is if I'm outside, it's everything that I can see outside. We're going to do a night landscape on this example, which I'm pretty excited about. So we're going to start by drawing a moon. It's going to be a crescent moon, which is kind of like my kids call it God's thumbnail. It's like when it's not the whole moon, right? Um, but I only want to draw the bottom part of it because then I'm going to cut that out and it's going to go to the top. So I'm going to go in the top corner. I'm going to use a white pencil so hopefully you can see more what I'm doing. You just use your regular pencil. I'm going to do um, a hook down and around like that. Will you draw your moon right now, the bottom of your crescent moon, with your pencil? So I hook down and then come back. And then we're going to take our scissors and we're going to carefully cut out that piece right on the line you just made. Um, it's easier for me if I turn my paper upside down when I'm cutting. And it's easier for me if I twist my paper as I go. I'm, I'm letting the scissors do the work carefully. I'm not chomp, chomp, chomping into my paper. I'm just carefully going. And notice I went all the way down and then I stopped and I'm going to come back and cut this line. Easier for my hand to do that. Okay, and then remember, I just line my black paper up right with those corners I already made. And there my piece goes in like this. Go ahead and cut your piece out now. Okay, this part can be kind of tricky for third graders. Um, and that is making sure that we have our piece the correct way. So if you see the side that has your pencil lines on it, that is going to be the side where you're gonna put your glue. Um, and I don't know if you remember this from last year, I would say dot, dot, not a lot. Everybody say it with me. Dot, dot, dot not, not a lot. lot. I'm guessing you need like two dots of glue. Should not be a river of glue. Should not be a lake of glue. And once I have my two dots on there, I'm gonna flip it upside down and I'm gonna line it right up to make my moon. Will you do yours now? Dot, dot, not a lot. Two dots is probably sufficient. So in our landscape, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have um, a, like a lake, okay? So I'm going to start about in the middle of my square, and I'm going to, don't do it yet, I want you to watch the whole thing first. I'm going to go over, and I'm going to make one little jag back, and then I'm going to make a big jag over, and another big jag, and then I'm going to start coming smaller, 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 and come off right there. When I cut this out, I'm going to flip it over, and that's going to be my lake on the other side, okay? So take your pencil. You're gonna make jag over, a bigger jag, and then this big one, the middle one is the biggest, and then start coming back and all the way to the edge with your pencil right now. And then when you've got that, you can cut it. Yep. That was hard. Okay, and I'm gonna cut two. Yep, you can um, work with it. Just try not to like make a big crease in it.
When you have it cut out, put your black paper back on the squares. And then remember, you're going to lay it on the side that has the pencil marks. That's the side that gets the glue. So if you kind of slide it back in there like a puzzle piece, you'll know which side gets the glue so that it works. Okay, again, we're going to do dot, dot, not a lot. I'm guessing three dots of glue would be good. So if this goes right back in here, I can see my pencil lines. That's the side that's going to get glue. So I'm going to go dot, dot, and maybe one over here. That should be enough. And then I flip it over and line it up. And just like on this side, I should have the biggest one is the third one, and then the jaggedy parts are at the bottom. Okay, line that up. Go ahead, about three dots of glue I think would be good for this. Okay, the next thing I wanna make is um, some mountains, okay? So we're gonna end up with three mountains, but remember, we only wanna draw half of it. That's how we get it to look like, um, like so we'll have one whole mountain and we're gonna draw half a mountain and then when we flip it, it'll look like one and a half mountains and one and a half and one and a half makes three mountains, okay? So we're going to start with our line and it's going to start up here and it's going to come down like a mountain. And then the next one is going to go up, but not quite as high as that one and down, okay? So start up, come down, up, but not as high and then down. Do that right now, but don't cut it because we're not done making it. Okay. Now, I want to make this line thick. So I'm going to come over. And I'm going to go up. And this is the weird part. I'm not going to go all the way up. I want it to look like it has um, snow on the top. So if I do jig jig across like this, it'll look like some snow there. And then I'm going to come down as if this mountain was right there. Yep, this is coming down at a diagonal. Good good question. And then up, and then some snow right there. Looks like a house. Kind of look like a house? When you've got it drawn, you may cut it out. Okay, when you have that mountain cut out, You'll put glue, and we don't need very much because it's very thin, but we'll probably need a dot at the top and a little tiny one at each bottom. Maybe one at this top. And then we're going to flip it over. Probably like four, like one at the top and one at the bottom of each of the little parts. And then we have our three mountains. We have our moon. And we have our lake. When you've got that glued on, then you're going to take your big piece. And you probably need one dot in each corner and maybe one in the middle. So like five dots of glue. On the back? Yep, on the back. So turn it over. Good question. Yep. And then line it up. Yep. And that is how we create a landscape no tan.